Following the accidental shooting death of a toddler in Lawrence on Friday, some of you may be reconsidering what precautions you take with guns in the home. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster discovered a new option that you may be more likely to use than a standard gun lock or safe. Well, if you keep a firearm in the home for protection, you might be put off by the idea of the amount of time it might take to load your gun if you keep the ammo elsewhere for safety, the amount of time it takes to get the key and unlock it. Think faster and easier on the market. That's the inventor of the safety bullet. It's a variation of a lock, but it goes inside the gun. We're trying to keep the adults ready and the kids safe. Don Pind is a Northland area firearms instructor with decades in the business. And pull that slide all the way to the rear. He walked me through the pros and cons of various safety features, including the mere strength it takes to pull back the slide on some models, which are made with built-in protections. I tell people to leave the magazine loaded, but out. You can fire this, it's empty. You can load this and set it in here. Until somebody works this slide, it's not going to have anything in it. A safety bullet loaded in the gun goes a step further. If a kid or an intruder finds your gun and pulls the trigger, the safety bullet will instantly disable your firearm. But if you need to use it, it takes just a few seconds. He's got to kick it out and put a live one in there before he can fire it. Pim says there is a downside, though, and that's counting on your own mind to be sharp when you wake up in the middle of the night to an intruder. People have grabbed the gun out of fear, not remembering that they put that in there, and they fired it and locked the gun up. Then they had no protection either. There's no one best solution, essentially, but if this kind of lock is the sort of thing that you're going to shy away from because of the negatives, well, then you might want to think of the safety bullets. In Claycomo, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.